Today, Ecuador is grappling with a crisis as gang violence erupts into an armed internal conflict. Let's break down how this once peaceful haven descended into chaos. It all started on January 7th when a notorious gang leader, Fito, escaped during a prison transfer, triggering riots across Ecuadorian prisons. The power dynamics within these facilities are explosive. Gangs like Los Choneros control prison wings, leading to deadly conflicts. Rival factions and internal power struggles can turn these overcrowded spaces into battlegrounds. Ecuador's strategic location between cocaine-producing giants, Colombia and Peru, makes it a hotspot for international drug trafficking. Gangs exploit the country's ports, attracting transnational criminal organizations. In response to the escalating violence, President Noboa declares a 60-day state of emergency, deploying the military. But the gangs retaliate, kidnapping police officers and declaring an armed internal conflict. President Noboa vows to neutralize gangs, designating 22 as terrorist organizations. Confronting the spillage of prison violence into major cities poses a significant challenge for the new leader. As Ecuador faces this turmoil, stay tuned for updates on how President Noboa tackles this complex crisis. Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights. Stay safe.